Welcome to Advocation X, episode number 255. Hello to all my beautiful thinking people out there. This is time for a newsworthy machine broadcast. Please hit the like button and subscribe before we dive into the depths of our topics. Topics to tackle here and now. Smartmatic and Dominion. Accusations. Lawsuits. Fox. Evidence. Once again, my good folks, I must say, we never give up and we never give in. And remember, keep an open mind because knowledge is your power. Do your research and maintain your power. Let's dive in deep right now. Smartmatic is a company that produces software. They were named by certain individuals in the uh, U.S. election debacle as being responsible, along with Dominion Machines, for rigging the election, for switching votes in the hundreds of thousands. And these machines were said to, in the accusations, be tied to six swing states that apparently lost the election for the individual not named here who did not like the results. So in the accusations, they claim that these machines were prepared on purpose with back doors that allowed them to go in and switch votes at will. It is also claimed that this company was launched with the aid of Hugo Chavez, uh, from Venezuela? There is so much going on here in these accusations. But, they're accusations. Now, when we look a little closer at this, the uh, information that is readily available to even those making the accusations, we find that Dominion machines were not produced in Venezuela. Hmm. They seem to be tied to a certain state in the U.S. of A. And they seem to have been created by a gentleman from a country called Canada, I believe. And again, this is only informed opinion, a little more solidly than the uh, facts that were presented or lack of facts presented with the accusations. The machines were developed for a benevolent purpose uh, and the software was geared to help disabled individuals to be able to cast their vote like any other person. The other fact that seemed to belie their accusations is that it was only used in a county in Los Angeles, I believe. I could be wrong. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I believe it was Los Angeles and it was a specific county. It was there to serve a specific purpose to help individuals. And instead they get slandered and smashed and dragged through the mud of the swamp that these others have created. Resulting from these accusations, we have pending lawsuits in the billions of dollars. Billions, billions, billions. Between Smartmatic and Dominion, there's going to be hang to pay. Because of these lawsuits and because of all the evidence that really doesn't have to be gathered, it's all out there in public to be seen by anyone who just cares to take a look. Just watch the news feeds, watch the, the different Fox News shows and all the evidence was laid out right there. So Fox News is named in lawsuits. Rudy Giuliani has been named in lawsuits. And I believe his total $1.3 or $1.2 billion they are trying to level against him. And you know what? I'm sorry. He deserves every penny against him. Fox goes to court and begs, begs the court to end this lawsuit. I don't understand what the purpose of that was, but hey, who knows? They just might hit a particular judge who is equally a sycophant following the individual who has launched this entire debacle. And maybe rules in their favor and says, you know what, they begged and I felt sorry for them, so I'm letting them out of this lawsuit. I mean, can't see that happening, but who knows, right? Stranger things have been going on. So the evidence is absolutely overwhelming against Dominion and... Oh, no, sorry. No, there is no evidence against Dominion or Smartmatic. 
The evidence is overwhelmingly in support of Smartmatic and Dominion machines. Overwhelming evidence. It's all there. You've all seen it. You've watched and listened to the same streams that everybody was privy to that show exactly what all the accusations were and how they slandered this company and these companies in a way that would severely hurt and impair their ability to do business in the future. In my opinion, folks, there's no way out of these lawsuits. And I don't think a settlement is going to do it. I think, well, no, I, let me not say that. If it's a huge, huge settlement, that might do it. But I think this individual um, is living on principles and is going to push this all the way through to make sure it never happens to them or anyone like them in the future. So I'm hanging my hat on that hope. And if you disagree, please leave your comments. Let me know. Hey, I will try my best to address anybody's comments or concerns. That's what I do. So, feel free to try any one of the videos in this series or click on any other playlist in Advocation X and see what topics we have there to unfold for you. We rely on you for our future successes. Without you, our channel would not exist. I hope you are enjoying the content and will continue to run with us into the future. Please help YouTube's algorithm to further our cause by liking and subscribing, becoming a member, and crushing that bell to see all future content. It's your content. Since I do cover most of your suggestions and requests as often as I can, keep those suggestions coming. I love them all. Our channels are factually informed opinion and not the alternative fact type either. Your suggestions are more than welcome, including your critical analysis. Please, leave ideas for future topics you'd like covered in the comment section. A special thanks to all of you beautiful people out there, and a shout out to all of our sponsors. Until next time, thank you for spending time with us here on this channel. Please stay safe, stay healthy, while doing your best to remain as happy as humanly possible. A further shout out to all of you who subscribed, all of you who will become and are members, all of you who like and share these videos with your friends and family and all around. I appreciate you all.